When we were talking about the budget and you talked about uh, extra income and ways to balance that out, do you think that the budget problem is solely a lack of income to the state or are there areas where the state could be spending their money more wisely or should not be spending money? I th- certainly there are, there are areas in which uh, we can be uh, cutting down on our costs, uh, absolutely. But Such as? Well, for one, you know, basically pork spending, thing, things that are, that are geared to go to, to specific districts. I mean, we have to look at that. We need an overhaul. I think we need, a, like, a citizens commission that can be uh, reviewing the budget and providing better input uh, as far as uh, targeting uh, wasteful spending. I think when we're talking about the capital bill, uh, we also need to be uh, focusing less on constantly uh, widening roads and uh, thinking we're going to just by building more highways, we're going to solve the congestion problem. I think we need more of a focus on mass transit. I, th- I think that we can spend our money a lot more wisely, absolutely. Uh, there's also a fair amount of administrative waste in the system. I know that's certainly true in the university system, um, but and we do need to target that. But overall, uh, the administrative overhead for the state of Illinois is around 4%, which is actually one of the lowest rates in the United States. So we're not going to we're not going to get there by trying to quote unquote cut the fat from the budget. That can contribute but it's not going to be the solution. We do definitely need to raise revenue. And I would commend your, re- your listeners to um, uh, take a look at the Center for Tax and Budget Accountability website. They have an excellent publication there that's called Facing Reality. Illinois must raise revenue to balance its budget. It's a good policy paper that I think lays that out in some detail. All right. Uh, we're going to take a break here. You can hang in with me, right? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, and and when we come back, I want to hear your response to uh, why, if we need to raise revenue, government should continue to grow uh, greater than the combination of inflation and population. The um, my guest is Rich Whitney. Uh, he is the Green Party candidate for governor of Illinois. I appreciate you doing this on Saturday morning. Oh, not a problem. All right. So just before we took the break, you were talking about how you feel that the state does need more revenue. um, And then it becomes a question of how it's raised. But I I have always wondered why the state would need to grow in size in terms of public spending so much beyond the growth of population and inflation. How long can that continue and why should it happen at all? Well, because we need a thriving public sector for the, the a public sector for the private sector to flourish, and I think that uh, unfortunately, the trend in government has been going the opposite direction, with an increase in privatization, with trying to shift more responsibility to uh, to contractors that uh, still have to be policed by state government, but at the same time are, are also uh, making profits off the the backs of the public sector. Uh, so I think that that's certainly one problem. But the fact is we need it. I mean, if if we're to try to close our current budget deficit by just cutting spending, it, we, it would cause the state's economy to lose over 125,000 jobs. And we're in a recession. What you do in a recession is you try to increase uh, employment, not decrease it. Otherwise, you're going to spiral down even further. Uh, so we, we definitely need to... Uh, Again, we have to spend smartly, uh, but we do need to uh, have a thriving public sector that can, that can uh, so that we have a, a healthy education system, so we have a healthy infrastructure, and so that we provide health care uh, to the people of the state of Illinois. How do you feel about charter schools and a move maybe towards more vouchers and that sort of thing in order to empower the parents? Uh, well, see, I don't think that empowers the parents. See, this is, uh, I, and I'm sensing, Jerry, we have maybe a fundamental philosophical disagreement, which is oh, okay. Well, there's no, there's no question. I'm a conservative, but I'm, there's, you know, that's why I'm asking you questions. I'm not. Sure. A, you know. uh, basically, I'm not 100 percent opposed to charter schools, but I think that they have to be uh, integrated into the public system. You know, what I think has been happening is that you, you, we've had a systematic underfunding of public schools in the state of Illinois. And then you have certain political forces that point at this and say, aha, the schools are failing. We need to privatize. We need to give parents vouchers. And and the effect of that, of course, is going to be to drain even more funding from the public schools. 
we need to we need to have adequately funded public schools. Uh, again, that's not the only problem. I mean, there's a big problem with no child left behind. That's been uh, an albatross around the, the neck of public education because uh, you know the unfunded mandates and, and the uh, over reliance on on testing to the point where teachers are teaching to the test. And, you know, there's a host of other problems that need to be addressed. But nonetheless, you still have to have adequate funding. That's why I support a plan. Uh, it was last year's House Bill 750 that would have brought state spending for education in line so that the state is uh, providing the, uh, the uh, what's called the foundation level uh, set by the Education Funding Advisory Board and we reduce the amount we're relying on local property taxes uh, and actually providing a property tax abatement of 20 to 25 percent per school district while we're increasing the spending on education. You know, I wouldn't have brought this up, but it's on the front page of your web page for Governor Whitney, Whitney for Gov org, right? Right. Whitney for Gov org. You've got an article here on reparations for slavery. Is that something you would work on? Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Uh, Oh, you're talking about that's uh, from the national news? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not, you know, that really gets into federal policy. Uh, so I, not a big I issue believe... for you? No, it's not. All right. Well, then I won't waste any more time on it. We've only got about 45 seconds, so I, I'll give that to you. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. I, I would uh, invite people to go to the website, WhitneyForGov.org. Actually, there there's an article there that talks about... Uh, where I stand on the budget disaster. So if people want to take a look at my views in a little bit more detail, uh, you know, you can, you can uh, read that as well as there's also links to other informative uh, articles and sources of information. But uh, basically, we're the party of working people. We believe that we do need a healthy public sector to allow the private sector to flourish. We do support single-payer uh, health care, and we do support a sensible budget uh, that uh, is going to uh, make our tax system more progressive in, in the state of Illinois, which is really what we need. All right. Uh, Rich Whitney, Green Party. It's WhitneyForGov.org. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you very much, Jerry. It's been a pleasure.